good afternoon folks happy Sunday today we're gonna do something I'm gonna call a fit and finish just a quick review of something we just received what, yesterday uh, after watching some videos by Jack's drink water about the kudu grill and seeing Ken Rogers a couple of cooks um, and I've been watching Jack's use this thing for a while so I had to get one let's do a quick fit and finish when I put it together We'll be right back. Now I was going to make this an unboxing video, but once I started undoing the box, it was packed so well as to be annoying. There was so much packing. They really packed it well. I'm like, nah. It's out of the box, as you can see from the pictures, but everything came together really, really nice. Very well packed, and so let's just put this thing together. together. Show it. Um, some of the highlights. I got the Father's Day package, which came with the whole kudu setup with the two racks. It also came with a rotisserie. And it also came with Stephen Reichlin's the Barbecue Bible, so I have to read through that. But the rotisserie, which I like to see, has four prongs, not just two. And these things are very, very heavy duty. I'm very, very pleased with these because you see some of the ro uh, rotisseries. This is way thin. This is pretty thick, uh, good gauge steel. And they came with protectors, so I didn't gouge the crap out of myself when I boxed it. Um, and this rod, this is. A lot more heavy duty than let's say like a Weber. And I think half the reason for this is it's not one that sits on both ends. It sits just on one end. So this all has to be really, really heavy duty. The rotisserie part also has bearings. For it to roll on because since it's only going to be on one end, you don't want it going like this. So it came with a rotisserie, which I needed to get batteries for. It also came with a cover, which I haven't even... Nice tubing. Now, Jax did a review a couple of years ago about the one of the originals. And they've done all the highlights he was mentioning. And like, look at this grate. It's nice. This is smooth. You're not going to cut yourself on it, but this is pretty heavy duty. I can't wait to uh, use it. And also... This nice big cast on. I have to probably season this with some bacon later. So, one thing I wanted to note, I was looking at, I put it together and took it back apart to show you the parts. The legs have like these self adjusting joints. It's like a hip and ball socket. But you see that? This is really well put together, very heavy duty. However, they say it's a portable unit. If you're going to take this to the beach, I'd set it on something. I'm not going to be wanting sand to get in this little bowl joint and just grind the crap out of it. You know, but this thing, it's really nice. It all came put together. I didn't have to put any of this stuff together. And uh, yeah. so let me put it together, show you what it looks like. And uh, once again, thanks for joining us. Tango Joe here at the Tango Joe Show doing the kudu. You just slip it in and just a, a slight turn. Do not crank this down. Just a slight little turn to set it and you're good to go. So here it is. This is the, the kudu base. This is where you build your fire with charcoal or wood. And this, the grate swings back and forth. And you can also raise and lower it. And on a cantilever, it'll hold itself up by the weight. Now you can lock it like this. You can turn this lever right here. If you tighten it just a little bit, it'll keep it from swinging back and forth, but do not over crank this. I mean, it just takes just a little pressure and then you're done. Do not crank it. I mean, why bother? And then the upper rack, which comes with this, like I said, this really cool cast iron pan, same idea. And that, this weighs a lot, so the cantilever will hold it from slipping down. And again, you just turn this if you want to keep it from going around. 
but up and down. Another cool thing about this, this, this size I found, I do have a large cast iron wok. That'll fit in there too, so I can't wait to use that thing. That'll be slick. And one other thing it did come with was what they call the smoker lid. It fits perfectly over that. You build a nice wood smoky fire, raise this up. The theory is the smoke will turn around and you're smoking in this thing. Uh, like I said, we're going to start giving this thing a go. And uh, it looks pretty good, man. So there we are. On a beautiful Sunday, our first quick look at the Kudu Grill. Just picked this thing up, like I said. Um, it's been out a couple years, and they've, uh, from what I've seen, these upgrades that people were talking about have been implemented uh, very nicely. Um, even though the welds are darn good, all the stainless, like I said, this stuff is just great. So I can't wait to use it. But again, remember, the, li the little levers, to do all of the legs and stuff, don't crank them. Just, just enough. You don't gotta wrench this stuff down, it's gonna be fine. So let's get this going. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for joining us. Um, Tango Joe here, the Tango Joe Show, doing the kudu. Like I said, I'll leave the links to Jack's Drink Water and Ken Rogers down below. They got some cool videos. Uh, welcome to the Kudu Nation, I guess. We'll see you next time. Sorry about that. It's the picnic table. Oh. Chin chin. Try again.